Alright, in this Geek Tip, I'm going to show you how to add a network folder that isn't indexed to a library. This is part of my How to Use Libraries in Windows 8 blog over on geeksandphoenix.com. So, uh, this is a little bit of a complex uh, procedure, so I'm, that's why I'm doing a video of it here. So, now, if you, there are other ways of actually getting a network drive or folder actually into a library. Um, number one, you can use offline files. Uh, if you want to store a copy of those files on your actual PC, if there's a lot of files, well, you may not want to do that. Um, this is a procedure. If the folder on which the computer resides on isn't indexed itself on that computer, then this is the procedure you have to follow to do it. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a, uh, a folder on one of the drives. I've actually created this NetShare folder. Now we're going to create a subfolder. So we're going to create this subfolder. I want to call it websites. So now what we're going to do here under websites we're going to tap on the home. We're going to click on easy access with it highlighted and we're going to say include in library and we're going to select projects okay now we're, this is strange but we're actually going to delete that folder now okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to create a symbolic link a soft link um, it's kind of unique it, uh, it it's just a, a link to a network folder with in a relative path of form so but we have to do it at a command prompt with administrative privileges so let me go ahead and we'll bring one up here using the power users command menu alright we're going to use a program called mlink mklink it stands for make link and we're going to um, bring up syntax here and uh, basically we're going to use uh, mklink forward slash d in our link and then our target okay so i've already got one here script written out with all the syntax on it so we're going to just go ahead and paste it i'll take a look at it mklink forward slash d and then we're going to go to net share websites we just made that one up you can actually see that's the folder we deleted and it's going to go over to the relative path of uh, Geek One storage websites. Now you'll notice that this path here, the target path, is in quotes. It's because there's a space in the actual folder name. So if you run across either the link or the target has a space in the folder name, any, f any of the folder names in that, that path you've got to put it inside of quotation marks. So, okay, let's go ahead. We'll execute that. We've got a new link. So let's pop back over here to File Explorer. There's websites. We've got under projects, websites. And that's how you create a network library share using uh, command prompt and mk link so for the full complete article on how to use libraries in windows 8 go on over to geeksandphoenix.com and go right into the blog and uh, you can do a search uh, we actually have a geek tips uh, listing um, so you can actually go right into the Geek Tips of the Windows 8 page and you find it there too. So, till then, have a great day.